Composition is a design principle where instead of building one big system, you split it into multiple smaller systems. These systems should also be able to work on their own, so you can use them independently. This will help you to develop games a lot quicker and more effectively. In my example, I have a player with which I can move and I can damage these enemies and they can also damage me. Now at a first look, the player and the enemy script might not look too bad, but they are already handling quite a lot of functionality. And another thing you might notice is that some functionality in them is the same and it is the part with the damage. So the player and also the enemy needs to hold some variables for the maximum health, for the current health and a function for when we hit the enemy or the player. What we'll do instead of using just one script for the player and one script for the enemy is that I will create some kind of health system. This is the complete script for the health system. It is really simple, but it will allow us to remove some code from the player and from the enemy script. So in the player, we can delete the health, we can delete the function on damage dealt, and we can do the same stuff for the enemy. When the enemy is attacking to the player, we don't want to be getting the player script, we want to be instead getting the health system, and then just subtract the health from it. And we can also delete the variables for the maximum, for the current health, and in the start we also don't need to be setting the current health to the max health, which is just the part that I forgot to add to the health system, so on the start we will set the health to the max health. Just like that. Now we are also getting some errors in the script where I'm checking if we can attack some enemy, which is in the player attack collider. So here instead enemy in attack range, we will just check for the health system in attack range. Once we have fixed all of the errors, this will be pretty much specific just to your scripts. I will add them to the player and also to the enemy. And if you want to make sure that always on the player script, you also have the health system, and you always have the health system on the enemy, you can just add attribute require component. Just like so, so always on the player script, we'll also have the health system script. So I have made a reference for it, and because we are sure that it will never be null, we can just get it in the start, and then do some other stuff with it, so change the slider value, and so on. And now if we add the enemy script to our enemy again, we'll see that the health system will also appear. So it is still working the same, but we have decoupled our code, made it more versatile and independent, so we can use the health system anywhere else we want, so just easily add the component. You can also notice that in the player script, I have two booleans which are checking if the enemy should be melee or ranged. This is another issue, so it would be better to create two scripts, one would be for the melee enemy attack and second one for the enemy range attack, so that to the enemies we can then just add the script that we want. And don't be afraid to add a lot more scripts to your objects, right now I have just two of them, but you could also have the main script for the enemy, then you could have some state machine where it would be managing all of the states, then you could have first script for the enemy AI, then you could have another one for the enemy attack, enemy melee, enemy ranged, and for all of these different functions. Right now it might seem like adding more components to your objects will just make them more messy, but that's not the case, because then you will be able to easily add all of the components that we have already made up to the objects and make them work however you want without needing to modify the script itself. And another pretty useful design principle that could be used pretty well for the enemies is inheritance, so feel free to check my tutorial about it. So I hope that from now on you will be making more than just one script for one object. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp, or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.